In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a basic equipment graphic using the FIN framework. When using FIN, it's important to remember that a vast majority of the software's features are context sensitive. This applies directly to creating graphics as well. Wherever you are in the navigation when you try to create a new graphic will determine what kind of wizard you will get. So with that being said, the first step to creating an equipment graphic is to navigate down to one of the equipment that you are looking to build a graphic for. Once you've navigated to the correct equipment, go ahead and open the app launcher menu by clicking on the menu button located on the top left corner of the navigation to bring up a menu of available apps. Under the System Integrator app section, there is a graphic builder tile that when clicked on, slides open to reveal a few different options. Go ahead and select the new option to begin creating your equipment graphic. This will bring up a new graphic creation wizard. Notice that the wizard automatically knows that you're trying to create an equipment graphic due to the context of our navigation. Now we can start filling out the form. The very first section of the form allows you to type in a graphic name. You may want to keep this generic if it is going to be a relative graphic. Down below, you have an option to select between a few different graphic templates that may serve as a quicker starting point for your graphic. Below that, we have the graphic on filter section. This determines which tags the graphic is going to run on. The FIN framework will automatically fill this in based on your context. The next section allows for you to select one of three different options that will determine how and where your points will pull their data from. The first option is relative by tags. If you select this option, the points in the graphic will match up to the points in the database via point tags. This is a great option for graphics that you want to run on multiple equipment that are similar or typical of each other, but don't necessarily have the same exact point names. The second option is relative by nav name. If you select this option, the points in the graphic will match up to the points in the database via their nav name. This is a great option for when you're first building your database and you know your point tags are going to be changing a lot. Of course, if you choose this option, make sure your equipment all share the same exact point names. The third option is absolute by ID. If you select this option, your points will be brought into the graphic hard-coded by the ID of the points directly under the current context equipment. This is a great option for plant type graphics and unique one-off graphics that do not need to be relativized to multiple equipment. Since I'm going to be using this graphic on multiple VAV equipment, I'll go ahead and select the relative by nav name option. In the next section is a list of points associated to the context equipment. And here, you can choose which points you would like to bring into your graphic. You can select and deselect multiple points by using the shift or control keys on your keyboard. It's also worth mentioning that if the context equipment has any equipment refs, those points will also show up in this list. The last section below is populated based on the points you selected in the previous section. This section here allows you to select points that will have their components and smart labels automatically generated before you even begin creating the graphic. In this demo, I will be selecting the damper, the reheat valve, and the SAT. And that's it. So now you can hit OK and the graphic will be created. If you look at the smart menu to the right of the screen, the graphic you just created should automatically appear there. Go ahead and click on the slide and select the edit option to open up the graphic builder and begin editing. As soon as you open the graphic, you'll see that the Fin Framework automatically brought in some ductwork based on the template we selected, and it also automatically bound and created components with corresponding smart labels based on the points we handpicked to have visual components. You may notice that the menu on the right has a variety of different graphic builder tools that can assist you when building graphics. Many of these tools also appear in the right-click menu within the Tools section. The first set of tools I would recommend using are the magic buttons. Go ahead and click on the magic button option to see a list of available tools. Under the equipment section, select the first option called Smart Label to Graphic Objects. The first time you click this button, it will take the components on the top left and organize them so they are much easier to see and work with. The next step is to take your components and place them on the ductwork. Once you're done situating the components, 
click on the smart label to graphic objects magic button again, which will then jump the smart labels over to the component that shares the same virtual point binding. You can always tell what point is bound to an object by selecting the component, right clicking on it and selecting the edit properties option or by selecting the component and going into the advanced properties in the properties menu, scrolling to the very bottom and looking at the virtual point ref. If you need more components, all you need to do is go into the component panel located on the left and drag one out. Points can be bound to a component manually by dragging and dropping a point from the virtual points panel onto the component or by right clicking on the component, selecting edit properties and then selecting a virtual point. All right, so once you have the graphical portion of your equipment done, the next step is to start adding in overview boxes. To do this, go into the Magic Bubble section and click on the Overview Box button and select the New option. This will now allow you to choose from a list of points that were brought into the graphic. After you choose your points and click OK, you can then add a title to the Overview Box and you can also type in a custom title for each of the points. When you're done, the form will automatically create an Overview Box that can be arranged anywhere on your screen. If you need to edit or add more points to a specific overview box, you can do so by right clicking on the overview box, going down to the tools section, opening the overview box drop down, then selecting the add or edit options as needed. Another tool that may come in handy is the short name tool. This allows you to customize the title of any smart label as needed. The quickest way to do this is to right click on the smart label you'd like to customize, go down to tools and select the short name option. This will now allow you to rename the label and with a quick refresh, the new title should appear. Without the short name enabled, the label will automatically use the points default display name or nav name to populate the title. Once you're satisfied with your graphic, you can hit the save button to publish it. Once our graphic is published, we can now view the newly created graphic by using the navigation tree to find any VAV that is relative and shares the same tags that were set when we first created the graphic. Since in this example we created the graphic using VAV1, I will go ahead and open a different VAV to demonstrate that the graphic is relative. The graphic can be opened via the magic bubbles or by clicking on the graphic tile in the right menu. There are many features that the Fin framework does for us automatically without any extra engineering. The first one you might notice is that the Fin framework automatically adds a glow to any point that has a status change. For example, if you look at the reheat valve, you can tell that it is currently overridden because of the purple glow around the component and smart label. Another thing the Fin framework does automatically is it adds an action gear next to any point that is writable and has actions. If you click on this gear, it will bring up a menu that contains all of the actions available to that point based on the privileges of that particular user. Another really neat thing, which is consistent throughout the Fin Framework software, is you automatically get magic bubbles for every point in the graphic. And the best part is that no extra engineering was required to make that happen. In this example, I can quickly bring up the history for the reheat valve without leaving the graphic screen. One last thing worth mentioning is when we first opened the graphic, a title bar and information icon were automatically generated that simply just work. The title bar automatically reflects what equipment you're currently on, and even better, the info icon, when clicked on, brings up magic bubbles that are related to that particular equipment. So that's basically all it takes to generate an equipment graphic in the Fin framework. You fill out a form, organize your components, create your overview boxes, and you're done. The Fin Framework takes care of all the hard work. And that's basically it. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for more Fin related content. And don't forget to have yourself a fantastic day.